Hey guys, welcome back to Foliage Loft. It's Saturday morning, about 10.15. I just got off work. I had to do some overtime today. So we're gonna take the opportunity. There's a local nursery nearby. It's called Belgian Nursery. Um, they've actually been closed for most of the year, but they just kind of reopened. I uh, did like a grand reopening about a week or two ago. And apparently they have lots of plants back in stock. Actually, I went to go see my physio uh, yesterday and she was saying that she found a string of turtles there. Um, and that's uh, a plant that's been on my wish list for a long time. So we are gonna go try to find one of those. And uh, if we can find a decent looking one for a good price, we'll pick it up. And uh, we'll give you guys a little bit of a tour if it's not too busy over there. See, I just walked in the front entrance here and there's a lot of stuff. They have a whole lot of uh, kind of garden ornaments too. Um, not exactly my style, but they do have a lot of variety here, which is good. I actually really like these uh, concrete pots. They kind of look like a birch tree, which is pretty neat. Never really seen something like that before. All the plants are going to be through here. Yeah, here's the, the tropical house. Wow. Wow, this place is huge. I did not expect it to be uh, this size in here. So yeah, they have some aguillonemas here. They have some uh, golden pothos hanging baskets, some banana trees. Here's some uh, snake plants here. Oh, I like these uh, variegated chiflaras. Definitely want to pick one of these up at some point. Just love the, uh, the contrast between the, the green and the yellow on these. They're awesome. So this is the cactus and succulent area. <laughs> Look at these guys, they're humongous. Wow, look at these agaves. And this uh, bird of paradise is in full bloom. It's, uh, it's pretty hot in here, guys. I shouldn't have worn my sweater. It's boiling in here. It's actually pretty cold out today. It's probably only about five or uh, six degrees outside. You can just see the condensation on the, uh, on the windows kind of behind me. It is hot and steamy in here. Haven't spotted the string of turtles yet. Uh, but we are still on the hunt. Uh, I think they might be in the succulent area. We'll go take a look over there soon. So I just grabbed a basket, so now I am ready to shop. I'm gonna go grab that string of turtles and uh, probably pick up a few more plants too. So yeah, guys, here's the string of turtles I was looking for, Peperomia prostrata. It's been on my wish list for a while, so pretty excited to pick one of these up. I'm just gonna try and find the best one here. I think they're all the same price. So I think I like the variegation on this guy the most. Yeah, that's going in the basket. Oh guys, it's so hot in here. Wow, I'm sweating. So I got the uh, string of turtles and uh, we're gonna keep looking. I think we're probably gonna pick up uh, another rubber plant, the taniki. See, I hear the rubber plants. I think I already know which one I want. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I don't see any pests in here. Lots of new growth. A little bit of a nasty leaf there. This one here, this one looks a little bit healthier than the other one. The other one had a couple of leaves that had some nasty little marks on it. But this one looks good, it's got some new growth. So yeah, this guy is $12.99. Not bad. I know if you want a large one of these guys, uh, they can be pretty expensive, you know, like upwards of $50 to $100 for a large one. So I'll buy it cheap and buy it small and then uh, let it grow and that way you kind of save some money. They do have quite a large selection of uh, clay pots here too. I might have to pick up some of these guys. Oh, I like these. These are really cool. Oh, no drainage hole, unfortunately. So you can just see the amount of pots they have in here. It's pretty crazy. They have some really big ones here. But yeah, a lot of these kind of look, uh, I don't know, a little bit old fashioned and strange to me. I don't really like this kind of shiny, bright look. Yeah, these are some really cool peperomias down here too. This is the Shumi Red Peperomia. They're $16.99, a little bit more expensive, but they got a really cool color and a really interesting texture on the leaves. Kind of a ruffled uh, kind of look they have. Really nice. Probably some of the biggest peperomia leaves that I've ever seen. You know, see it in comparison to my hand. <laughs> it's huge. I have a mini watermelon peperomia at home, but uh, looks a little bit different from one of these guys. This is kind of like their little bonsai orchid air plant area. So it's pretty quiet here. <laughs> Not quite as popular as the other spots, but some cool little bonsais. These are junipers here. And then we got some air plants over here. But yeah, I think that's it for today, guys. So we're back home now, guys. I'll show you the plants that I got. So here they are in all their glory. 
This might be hard with the camera in my hand. <laughs> Here is the string of turtles, Peperomia prostrata. So this has been on my list for a while. Such a cool like pattern on the leaves there. And these are like almost like a succulent kind of leaf. They'll hold the water in their leaves. And you can see actually this one's got a little flower coming out. This little alien looking stem there. That's pretty cool. And then up next we have the uh, Dracaena Florida Beauty. And this is quite different from the Dracaenas I have. I have a Dracaena marginata and I have a Dracaena Massangiana, a corn plant. Um, so this one's quite different uh, to those two and just the way that they grow. They do kind of get the same kind of thicker stem. You can see like a shoot coming out there. But uh, yeah, it's almost like a, a vining kind of stem almost. It's very different looking. And it's got this really cool variegation. Kind of it comes in almost, uh, looks like it's like out of focus almost. And then I guess eventually it will kind of solidify into this kind of pattern here, which is really cool. So that one, and then I also got the variegated Schifflera arboricola, or arboricola, sorry. Here that is, looks really healthy. It's got some interesting uh, variegation as well. Very basic plant, it's, uh, this is a pretty cheap one, um, but these can get pretty big, so I'm kind of looking forward to watching this one grow. I'm not sure how fast they grow. Definitely have to uh, read up a little bit on this one. But yeah, the Schifflera, Arboricola, also known as an umbrella tree. Very neat, very happy with this guy. And then the last one that we got here was the variegated rubber plant, the Ficus elastica tanique, or tanique, I guess some people call it. So yeah, this guy looks really good. Another wish list plant. Um, the big ones are pretty pricey, but this one was only $12.99. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. And it's already started to get some of the variegation that this uh, guy is known for in some of the leaves here. But yeah, as it grows and matures, more of that variegation, more of that patterning will, uh, will show up, hopefully. So there it is. So yeah, guys, thanks for coming along on my Belgian nursery tour. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we got a few plants. I'm probably gonna end up heading back there soon. <laughs> um, the selection was really good and some of the prices were really good. Um, they didn't have a ZZ Raven, which is what I was looking for, uh, along with the string of turtles, but I got one out of two and then three that I didn't really plan for. So that's a pretty good day. Um, again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you watched all the way through, thank you so much. Comment, like, and subscribe and have a nice day.